UK about to crush America and crypto, or is it all part of the plan? We're going to find out. I ain't gonna give in now, I just gotta live this now I be gonna be when I'ma kill this stuff real quick I'ma go take it to town, cause I gotta be that king in the ring And I'm not gonna mad when I'm back with the real Cause I am just on the journey, you just know that I'm just going inside Warriors rise! Grand rising, good evening all over the world My name is Coach JBI, I am the top health mindset, crypto, and business coach in the world. Remember what you believe in your heart, you think in your mind will eventually become your words and become your reality. If you can see it in your mind, eventually you can hold it right here in your hands. What you repeatedly do gets ingrained in your subconscious mind. What gets ingrained in your subconscious mind becomes an unconscious activity. In today's video, we are going to dive deep into what is happening in crypto? Now, I'm going to share you the information I have from facts, figures, numbers, logic, and my research. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just documenting my journey into the quantum financial system. But since I have dove into the cryptocurrency with my banking knowledge and an understanding of the need for liquidity for banks and a new infrastructure of a banking system, that's what got me into understanding distributed ledger technology and real-time payments. And I used to work in banking. And so when I found out about XRP and XLM and these cross-border payment systems, I asked myself a question. Why are the banks not using them? Well, the banks are using the technology, the software, and the systems. And what we're waiting for is regulation. But is it that UK is crushing us in crypto? Or is it UK is going first? Then America goes next. Is it lock and step? To me, it seems like, hey, you go next. You go next. You make your next move. And here's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to connect the dots. And at the end, I'm going to show you two key people that are part of the World Economic Forum. I don't pick left. I don't pick right. I don't pick up. I don't pick down. I am my own present CEO of my life. The left and right created the left and right to make us fight. Okay. I don't fight with other human beings. I don't argue with other human beings because I form my own opinion, make my own decisions, and I'm working to build sovereignty here, here, and in the physical world so we can make the decision. So let's dive into it. I know there's a longer intro. Again, if you have not gotten into the Warrior Academy on November 1st, the price is going up. So currently it is $129 per month for an amazing amount of information. We added Airbnb to our courses. Um, thousands of dollars in value and the price is going up on November 1st. So make sure that you jump into the 3T Warrior Academy, get grandfathered in. So November 1st, the price is going up. www.3twarrioracademy.com. Okay, so let's take a journey back. So we look back in 2016. Santander is a massive bank in the UK and they're going to use Ripple for cross-border payments. This is in 2016, okay? This is back when all the banks are telling you cryptocurrency is a fraud at the same time going into 2017, 2018. Wells Fargo was getting up with R3, Bank of America with Ripple, okay? We have um, Chase who started JP Morgan, who started their own blockchain technology, JPM coin, which is connected to Onyx. And it says, today, Santander announced that they are the first UK bank to introduce Ripple's blockchain technology to facilitate international payments through a new app. They are rolling out this pilot staff pilot with intentions to expand the technology on a later date. Key, on a later date. Once the app is downloaded, Santander staff need to complete their profile details. And so it's basically an app that they connected with Ripple's technology. Now you have Ripple, the company, and then you have XRP. That's what this whole case is about. They're saying because we own XRP, we own a piece of the company like a security. We don't. This shows Ripple has technologies and can operate completely separate from XRP. Now, this is not saying that they are using XRP, but we know with the case, a lot of banks and institutions are holding off on XRP until SEC gets their shit together, Gary Gensler, and they come up with a decision or they settle the case. Okay, So Ripple joins forces in 2021. Just watch the dates and how things kind of pan out. Ripple joins forces with the Digital Pound Foundation. Ripple, the financial technology company best known for cryptocurrency XRP, will oversee the development of the British Pound, an effort to launch a uh, digital currency within the United Kingdom. The partnership with Digital Pound Foundation, a nonprofit organization that aims to promote and introduce the central bank digital currency, only increase the possibility of CBDCs in the United Kingdom. 
The news comes after G7 published guidelines for creation of CBDCs, stating digital currencies must do no harm and meet strict regulations. This is all about regulation. Susan Friedman, head of policy at Ripple, spoke um, of her excitement to be working with the Digital Pound Foundation and what the group can help so they can help build a future. So it says G7 sets out to sets out central bank digital currency guidelines. This was on October 14th, 2021. So we follow, okay? This is 2016. This is on October 14th, 2021. Same thing. These are the guidelines here. G7 puts out their guidelines. It talks about the G7 com uh, comp comp compromising, excuse me, of France, Germany, Italy, Japan, Canada, UK, and US met in Washington, D.C. on Wednesday with finance ministers drafted a framework of 13 principles. CBDCs are virtual forms of fiat currency. They are used to uh, issued by central banks and aren't decentralized. They are backed up by government and its traditional financial backing. Basically, what they're doing behind the scenes, this whole thing is all step by step by step. Okay, you make this move. We lock everybody down in 2020. We get everybody onto digital technology. We send out all these stimulus checks. Stimulus checks don't get to people. Um, the people who really, really need the stimulus checks, a lot of people, their cats were getting checks. It, Dead people are getting checks. Hey, listen, this won't happen again when we have a black swan event. You just go over to your FedNow services. You set up your wallet. We'll get you some central bank digital currency right away. Instant payments 24-7, seven, seven days a week. And then we get used to that system, just like we did after September 11th, okay? When we used to be able to walk up to the gates for security, at first there was all this security and then everybody's freaked out. Now it, you're used to taking off your shoes now, right? It's slowly and methodically, whatever you do consistently, gets ingrained in your subconscious mind, it becomes an unconscious activity. This game's been going on for a very long time. So then we fast forward to October 20, 2022. UK Prime Minister Liz Truss resigns after failed budget and market turmoil. Truss was in office uh, for just 44 days, making her shortest serving prime minister in British history. For 10 days of the uh, Premiership government-based was paused following the death of Queen Elizabeth. On September 23rd, Truce Finance Minister um, announced a so-called mini-budget, which began a turbulent period for UK. Let's think about this for just a moment. Let's think about this. So they bring her in. They have her throw out this budget. So you don't think there was like conversations about this or, you know, she just came in for 10 days, said, hey, I'm going to flip the whole system. You don't think it was by design for her to say, I'm going to pull the switch and then, boom, this is going to collapse our system. Then UK went into financial crisis. I think by the pound collapsed that Monday, not, not this Monday, but the Monday this happened. By Wednesday, the Bank of England was in crisis. And then all of a sudden, weeks later, we all forget about that stuff, right? Because things move so fastly. We got Kanye West going all over the place, and everybody's focused on that now, another distraction, right? Then we go over here, crypto-friendly Rishi Sanak appointed UK prime minister following trust exit so 10 days later she's gone rish chinook who shepherded the uk's new crypto ambitions during his time as a finance minister will be the country's next prime minister following liz truce exit from office last week <laughs> it's like it's like almost it's so coordinated it's unbelievable melissa labs co-founder kanaz Eskoy discusses the move and what the, this means for crypto plus his outlook on the digital pound and private stable coins ripple joins forces with the digital pound okay u.s lawmakers vote to recognize crypto as regulated financial instrument this was around the exact same time as all these announcements happen uk now announces lawmakers vote recognize crypto as regulated financial instruments the lower house of the parliament voted in favor of adding crypto to the scope of activities to be regulated via proposal finance services market bill which already seeks to extend payment rules to stable coins. We just continue on. The Brussels effect wields real influence over U.S. crypto regulation. So the pressure's on or it's next move now, right? It's either the pressure, it's appearance of pressure for the U.S. to settle this case so we can have regulation. That's when the mass adoption comes in. As soon as they get clarity in America, institutional wealth will come flooding in, and that's when their price appreciation goes up. Okay, now let's take a look at something. So Rashik Sandak is, has a profile at the World Economic Forum. Brad Garlinghouse has a profile at the World Economic Forum. Okay, It's all connected, guys. G7 sets out to make central bank digital currency guidelines. Ripple joins forces with the digital pound. 
Santander, right? One of the biggest banks in UK. Again, I'm not saying they're using XRP right now, but when XRP is deemed a non-security and a currency, like it's being used all over the world, it's going to be the biggest case in financial history. It's going to be the biggest change in financial history. So whatever you believe, like whether you think it's going to zero or you think it's whatever it is, right? You have to understand that nobody knows the truth. Whether you're a Bitcoin maxless, Ethereum, everybody was like all bullish on Ethereum. I'm, I'm bullish on Ethereum. I've been telling people it was in the banking system since the beginning. And now people are like, oh, shit, it's deep in the banking system, right? When there's money involved and there's politics involved, there's power. And when there's power, you need to understand that none of us know what's happening behind the scenes. That's a fact. OK, so don't get caught up in these bullish, uh, whatever you call it, these uh, maximalist scenarios. Just form your own opinion. Protect your family. Bring some wealth back to your family. Bring, you know, however you feel the wealth and abundance system works, you know, make sure you're wealthy here and wealthy here. It's really important. That's why I don't get caught up with maximalists or haters or all the time. Like, I love you. Like, oh, XRP is the banker coin. They're all the banker coin. Anywhere there's money involved. Bitcoin and Ethereum are going to be sitting at your local bank. You're going to be able to do an asset back loan off of it. It's going to move right into a new monetary system, which is going to be all blockchain technology. The system's just moving over. That's all it is. Okay. So I want to share with you something special near and dear to my heart. Now, again, this is my project. This is my team's project. Our team has worked very hard on it. We own multiple companies. We own a company called Collecti Labs, okay, which is our NFT incubator. Where we're teaching companies how to get into the metaverse. Uh, just a little hint of what's going on. So we are launching X Royalty. Okay. Our battle is not against anybody, but our battle is against our own consciousness. This this will get you on the waiting list, not a white list. There's no guarantee to get into this project. There's already cl over a thousand people on the waiting list, but we are launching one of the biggest projects on XRPL. This is my own personal project. I only promote things that I'm invested in or I work very closely with. OK, very important to understand that about me. This is my own project um, and it's very important and near and dear to my heart. It's going to be one of the best projects on XRPL. So if you want information on that, the information will be coming out in about 30 days. So you just go to X Royalty. You can click the link down below, put your information in there and expect to hear uh, some information within the next 30 days. So this is my project launching on XRPL. It is going to change the game and how companies do business. All right, Warriors. So I love you guys. I appreciate you. I want to say thank you so much. I know a lot of people say that the videos are not getting um, uh, on the algorithm and uh, they're not showing up on your, whatever you call it, when you do the notification button. So if you could share this video, that'd be awesome for somebody maybe in your family who's trying to understand this. And I hope to make the complex simple for people and, and sharing it from a loving place from my heart, my family to yours. I just want to grow with you guys. That's it. And I don't believe that this money is reserved for 1%. But what I do know is you have to change this because Jim Rohn says you can give a million dollars to every person in society. It'll end up right back in the same people's hands. So it's about educating ourselves financially here and understanding how money actually works and becoming wealthy here so you never have to work for money. I love you guys. I appreciate you. As we always say, warriors, rise, get your shit together. Let's go.